January 16th, SpaceX Starship Flight 7, a day that will live in Starship history. We were all stunned by the debut of Block 2 hardware, Ship 33, showcasing incredible upgrades and leaving us on the edge of our seats. But let's be real. While the ship stole the show, what about the Super Heavy Block 2? The upper stage has been grabbing headlines, but official news on a Super Heavy Block 2 has been suspiciously quiet. Is it undergoing secret upgrades? What new technologies will it bring to the table? We all want to know everything about that lower stage Block 2. Stick around as we dissect the rumors, analyze the facts, and explore what the future might hold for the Super Heavy Block 2. Anyway, our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. During Starship Flight 7, SpaceX introduced the world to the second generation of Starship, namely Ship 33, a more powerful and advanced version. Although the vehicle exploded sooner than expected after launch, the data during that short minute flight is very valuable for SpaceX to upgrade its next prototypes. Now, Flight 8's hardware, including Ship 34 and Booster 15, has partly finished the key tests toward the launch. Booster 15 completed its static fire test on February 9th, then rolled to Mega Bay 1 for flight readiness upgrades. Ship 34 followed Booster 15 by firing for nearly a full minute at Massey's during its static fire test on February 11th. The test seemed to go smoothly and we hope that in its real flight the vehicle will achieve the goals that its unfortunate predecessor failed to achieve. As SpaceX is on its way to perfecting its next-generation design for the ship, one question is blooming. How about the Super Heavy? When will the Block 2 booster come online? Well, it could make its debut this year. Online speculation suggests that Booster 17 might be the final Block 1. If this is the case, it might not be used for flight, as the last in a series of Starship designs often doesn't get the opportunity to fly. If SpaceX halts booster production, they could continue using the existing version 1 hardware until Block 2 is ready, especially since they've successfully caught the Super Heavy twice. In fact, there are signs that SpaceX is moving toward a Block 2 booster. The Test Tank 16, which is theorized to be a Block 2 booster test tank, was moving back and forth between Massey and Star Factory. It likely seems to have had some work done including some modification following S-33's anomaly in flight. Meanwhile, so-called the final Block 1 booster, B-17, has recently caught our eye as its components such as the aft section and downcomer or transfer tube were seen in Mega Bay 1. This suggests that B-17 may be nearing completion. With all said, I bet that the date the Booster Block 2 comes online is no longer further. So, which prototype would become the Block 2? All of us hope the answer is B-18. If B-18 is indeed the first Super Heavy version 2, it is reasonable to expect a launch in Flight 10. The countdown to Super Heavy version 2 is on, and the excitement is palpable. Show your excitement for this new booster by commenting, Full Version 2. Also, like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the innovative progress of the spaceflight. When all's said and done, the next iteration of SpaceX's Super Heavy Booster, known as Version 2, promises significant improvements that will elevate its capabilities to remarkable new heights. Since Elon Musk stated that Super Heavy Version 2 would be taller and feature big improvements, the Block 2 second stages are planned to be 1.3 meters taller than the previous Block 1 vehicle, making it 72.3 meters long and allowing for a greater fuel capacity. Apparently, to carry up a heavier object, it will need more powerful engines and this is where SpaceX's revolutionary Raptor 3 engines come in. Earlier last year, SpaceX introduced the Raptor 3, showcasing its sleek black design and simplified structure which not only reduces the potential for risks, but also makes the engine easier and faster to refurbish, a key factor in achieving rapid reusability. The streamlined manufacturing process 
will allow SpaceX to produce engines more efficiently, meeting the increasing demand for Starship launches. The Raptor 3 engine achieves a thrust of 280 tons force, a notable increase from Raptor 2's 230 tons force, and Raptor 1's 180 tons force, 185 tons force. Elon Musk has indicated the potential for Raptor 3 to exceed 300 tons of thrust in future iterations. A group of Raptor 3 will certainly provide 8,240 tons force of booster liftoff thirst, significantly higher than 7,130 tons force of booster version 1. To put this into perspective, this level of power is 2.3 times greater than that of the Saturn V the rocket that once carried astronauts to the moon. Such extraordinary thrust levels will enable Starship to carry out more than 100 tons of payload to orbit. Beyond engine upgrades, Super Heavy version 2 will feature several improvements to boost performance and reliability. The grid fins will be moved lower to enhance stability, addressing issues from prior launches. Specifically, during Flight 7's test, Booster 14's grid fins showed warping, likely from extreme heat exposure caused by the hot staging technique, where Starship engines ignite while still connected to the booster. Camera footage showed flames impacting the grid fins, which could compromise flight safety and performance, an issue also seen in Flight 5. A potential solution could be lowering the grid fins to avoid the thermal impact. In addition to the change in the grid fins position, the hot staging system will be redesigned with a longer ring and larger vents to simplify the design and improve stage separation efficiency. This new hot staging ring is also expected to be reusable, which aligns with SpaceX's goals of cost reduction and waste minimization. Along with Booster Version 2, can't help but mention its partner, the Upper Stage Version 2. Elon Musk highlighted features of the new generation stating, version 2 of the ship holds more propellant, reduces dry mass, and improves reliability. Future Starships might retain six Raptor engines, and the spacecraft's size may increase by 1.8 meters, resulting in 52.1 meters. When paired with the taller Block 2 low stage, the complete Starship system will reach an astonishing height of 124.4 meters making it an even more formidable spacecraft. This additional space will enable it to carry up significantly more fuel. This increase in fuel capacity is critical to supporting the enhanced performance required for future missions, for example, in NASA's Artemis III mission. Under Artemis III scheduled in mid-2027, Starship HLS needs multiple tankers for refueling in orbit because the amount of fuel required to reach the moon from low Earth orbit is large, and a single tanker wouldn't be able to carry enough propellant to fully refuel the lander. In this case, HLS could be version 1, meanwhile those tankers could be version 2. Who knows? Do you have any objections at this point? Don't hesitate to share your thoughts. For the ship, a stretched payload area could increase the payload volume from 1,000 cubic meters to a range of 1,400 to 1,800 cubic meters. Remaining the engine count at 6, but with greater thrust, should enhance the spaceship's initial propulsion up to 1,600 tons force, enabling it to launch more payload into orbit. The second-generation Starship will also feature upgrades based on lessons learned from previous integrated flight tests and ground tests prior to launch. Expect improved and more secure welds in future Starship variants, with the possibility of Super Heavy rockets also receiving these design upgrades in the future. Starship version 2 will feature significant changes up and down the spacecraft, taking lessons from previous flight tests to improve reliability and performance. SpaceX has implemented hardware changes on upcoming Starship vehicles, to improve leak reduction, fire protection, and refined operations. To align with those upgrades, SpaceX is enhancing its infrastructure, with reports indicating that the new launch tower, while keeping the same segment count, will be slightly taller to fit Starship version 2's increased height. This ensures full compatibility with the enhanced booster and spacecraft. 
Starship version 2 marks a key step towards SpaceX's long-term goals, including catching the entire Starship system with the Mechazilla arm. Success would be a spaceflight milestone, enabling full spacecraft reusability, revolutionizing space exploration, cutting costs, and allowing more frequent, ambitious missions. Despite remaining work, SpaceX's progress is clear. The Starship version 2 is set to raise rocket performance benchmarks, showing the company's innovation drive. Each upgrade brings Starship closer to its potential as the workhorse of future space exploration, with the years ahead promising excitement as SpaceX refines its technology and pushes space travel boundaries. The journey to a fully reusable next-generation spacecraft is underway, with Starship's next generations playing a central role. Following the Block 2, we have Block 3. The timeline to produce SpaceX's Starship Block 3 depends on the success of the Block 2 tests and the availability of the Raptor 3 engines. If significant lessons are learned from the Block 2 tests, adjustments might be made to the design or construction timeline of Block 3. Honestly, it might come soon. A critical enhancement in Block 3 will be its cryogenic fluid management systems, essential for effective orbital refueling. This capability is vital for supporting NASA's objectives, particularly for lunar missions under the Artemis program. NASA's HLS program manager hopes for a ship-to-ship -ship demonstration to occur this year, ahead of Artemis 3 scheduled for 2027. For this reason, it is very likely that SpaceX will accelerate Block 3 production and testing as soon as possible to meet NASA's requirements. So let's guess when Block 3 will start to be built. SpaceX is developing Starship, a fully reusable transportation system, with the aim of reducing spaceflight costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. Starship is designed to transport both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Elon Musk envisions Starship facilitating long-duration journeys to Mars and back. SpaceX aims to lower launch costs through economies of scale by reusing both rocket stages, increasing payload mass to orbit, increasing launch frequency, and mass manufacturing the rockets. SpaceX aims to reduce spaceflight costs enough to make the colonization of Mars feasible. Starship is intended for interplanetary travel making material selection a significant factor in reaching Mars. Starship is designed to transport both crew, up to 100 people, and cargo to various destinations, including Earth orbit, the Moon, and Mars. Starship is also capable of point-to-point -point transport on Earth, enabling travel to anywhere in the world in one hour or less. It will be used to refuel other Starship spacecraft enabling them to reach higher orbits and other space destinations. SpaceX is providing the lunar lander that will return astronauts to the Moon's surface under NASA's Artemis missions. Starship could be employed to deploy space telescopes and launch thousands of satellites swiftly. Starship has also been designed to transport heavy materials essential for constructing space stations and developing infrastructure for human habitation on the Moon.